Did these players pop or flop? They were tagged as the most exciting players to watch five years ago, but who fulfilled their potential and who disappointed? Back in 2019, ESPN put together a list of the best 30 young players under 21, and some of their predictions turned out to be spot on, others, not so much. Top off that list was Kylian Mbappe, but considering he had already won the World Cup at this point, it was obvious that he was going to be quite good. From 30 to 11, the player that stands out most is likely Phil Foden. Ranked behind the likes of Moise Ken and Callum Hudson-Odoi, it's fair to say that Phil Foden has over exceeded on the expectations put on him at that time. Two notable misses in this section are Christian Pulisic and Ismail Assar. While both are decent players in their own right, Pulisic was labelled as the next Eden Hazard, which turned out to be way off. And even though Saar is a good player, you'd hardly include him in this list anymore. The top 10 was easier to put together as most of those included were already doing bits at the top level, but there were some early shiners who have at least momentarily burned out. Ranked in second place is Jadon Sancho, which I think we can all agree isn't close to where he'd be now. And Kai Havertz ranked above Vinicius Jr, which I mean, come on. Also squeezing into the top 10 was Luka Jovic, who had just moved to Real Madrid for 60 million, but that didn't go so well either. Who would be in your top 30 list for the current players? Let us know in the comments below and don't all say Evan Ferguson.